just like not, like what do, what do I do now? Yeah. So I had to ask um, Julian Luetta. Yeah. And I and I told. He just him, had a show too. Yeah, yeah. I, which Come I was on. Different. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, that old sheep dog, right? Yeah, that 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 was such a fun room. Uh, we'll get to that right now. It's a good. It's a good place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I asked him, I was like, "What do I do now? Because you've been here longer than me. I got here sooner than I expected to. Yeah. Like, what the fuck am I doing? That's good. And he was like, "Well." Next thing you got to do now is just get noticed by one of these guys, and hopefully they pick you up and take you on the road, fool. And I was yeah. just like, oh, shit. Like that. And he's like, yeah, that's all you do is be funny, be a funny opener. Yeah. And so eventually somebody will invite you out of town, or yeah. somebody will say, hey, come meet me in California, or whatever, which is, which is what happened to Julian. Mm-hmm. So, like, I guess that's that's the next phase of my... Yeah, your, journey to your say comedy, your, your career. You know, it's your just career. finally like getting out of El Paso. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I love, I love doing shows in El Paso. I'll never yeah. say no to not doing one. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. um, but there's more out there. Yeah, for sure. And I think you know? that's where it comes to. You have to be your own kind of uh, manager, also. Because mm-hmm. uh, I, I mean, I'm assuming with music, you know, there's managers and there's oh, people yeah. that know how to do the business, and that's why they take advantage of people all the time. But I think that's one of the cool things about about comedy that you kind of because, you know, who's to say that if you go, you, let's say you don't want to wait for somebody like I don't want to wait for a big name. Like you could start, you know, sending your stuff out to other places, mm-hmm. your material and everything, and then you can kind of make your way by yourself. With That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, no, that's definitely what it is. Uh Cause you know what it sounds. I mean, from what I, and and I I get that. Like I, it's like you don't want to depend on be like, no, I don't want like. Well, it is kind of true because that's that's how I got into the comic strip. Mm-hmm. Um, I got in so back in G- May Jan. I can't remember. It was in the summer. Oh, it was like June or something. Yeah. Uh, Henny had like a birthday party or something, mm-hmm. and she invited me to, and she was having a comedy contest. Okay. And she invites me to this thing, and um, I'm like maybe like four or five months in. I had to be like five. Oh, this was last year? Yeah. 21? This oh, okay, okay year. yeah. And uh, I didn't know that the feature act, mm-hmm. Brian Dunkelman, okay. was at this party. I had no idea who he was. I oh. had no clue who he was. Yeah. And he was at this party, and I sat there, and we were just talking. I didn't really talk to him. And... Um, you know, we were just talking, and then I go up. Like you, like you saw him, and you didn't know who he was. You I had no clue who he was. Okay, okay. They just, they just said, "Oh, this is Brian. He's the feature act at the comic strip." Oh, okay. I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool. I'll yeah. go check him out this weekend." You know. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I do like 15 at Henny's house. I do like, eh, maybe like 12, 15 minutes. Yeah. And uh, uh, Brian Dunkelman like really liked me. Yeah. And so That's after good. after the show or after the contest, he comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, what's up, man? My name's Brian Dunkelman. Blah blah blah. I'm, you know, I'm at, I'm a comedian and I'm at the comic strip." And I was like, oh, "That's cool, man. Right strip. on." Yeah. And uh, you know, he's like, "Here, take my number, man. Let's talk." And he always giving me like pointers, like right then and there, like, yeah. "Hey, instead of saying this, say this. Say okay. this. Say this." And I was and I was just like, "Holy shit!" Like. Here's like a professional comedian. Mm-hmm. Like he doesn't. This his first time watching me. Yeah. Like giving me all these pointers, and I stayed in touch with him. I stayed in touch with him, and uh, uh, in September um, of that same year, of of last that year? same year, yeah. he came back as a headliner to the comic strip, mm-hmm. and, uh, and Jibs had had already been putting a, a a bug in Bart's ear about me. Yeah. And uh, then Dunkelman. Uh, came to Bart's office and said, "Hey, can Steve get a guest spot on okay. Sunday on his show?" Yeah, and yeah, I remember doing the comic strip. I, my first time at the comic strip was a fucking guest spot for Brian Dunkelman. That's badass. In and see, and that's good. And yeah. that's and that's kind of what we were talking about. How you always have to be like a people person. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, like I didn't know. Like I said, I didn't know who he was at the time. I considered mm-hmm. Brian one of my good friends. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's badass. Uh, I didn't know who he was. Until I googled him, and this okay. this dude 
used to be one of the hosts with Ryan Seacrest in American Idol. Oh, shit. What? Yeah, I swear to God, dude. Ryan Douglas. He was like on season one or two or yeah. something like that. He wasn't there very long. <laughs> right, yeah. But he was on that show when it fucking took off. Right, yeah, yeah. Wow. So, and like, yeah, That's... and we're still good friends to this day and yeah. stuff. We, we text every now and then, but... Um, but yeah, dude, it's just crazy how like things can change for you. That's why like it's always like you said, it's important to yeah to be um to be a to good good people. Person. It's all networking. No, and that's how like a lot of um, opportunities come by. Because you know you you might fit uh, into something that they're looking for, and if this guy knows you, he's like, hey, like I know this comedian, you know, yeah. and if he just shows them like uh, your profile, if you post something, it's like yeah. it'll that's your foot in the door, and that's good. I mean, that's the way things like work out because a lot of it is and that's why a lot of people say a lot of like success is showing up because mm-hmm. you know like well a lot of success it, i think it has you have to have a good mix right like you have to have talent but at the same time you it's also kind of luck like you have to it is it lucky. is dude it is real luck because yeah. like who's to say like if i go to that party mm-hmm. i go to that party and brian dunkelman isn't there yeah yeah, exactly. Or I don't even go to the party at all. Mm-hmm. Or if you bomb or something. Or, or if I bomb, which yeah. can happen. Yeah. You know, yeah, so like, yeah. You, you spill a beer on them or you throw a beer at them. Yeah. I, yeah. I thought you'd... But yeah, no, no. Like, yeah, you could always fuck it up. So that's what I'm saying. But at the same time, it's talent. Like, it's the, the fact that you went up and he's like, oh, shit, this guy's... Yeah, good. you got to have yeah. raw talent. Or at least mm-hmm. you got to have an idea of, like, what you're in for. Yeah. Because I feel... And there's, like, you go... You've, you've seen it where, like, guys go up at open mics and they're, like... Like, their friends tell them that they're funny. <laughs> yeah. And they fucking go up there and they just like, oh, fuck. I don't yeah. know how to tell a joke. Yeah, that's true. There's uh, also... Yeah, I guess... And that happens all the time, too. Because there's... I think that's a story that everybody... Oh, all comedians know. It's like, oh, it's because I'm really funny. All my family thinks I'm funny. And then you go on stage and it's like stage fright. Or you lose your train of thought. Or you just don't have it. You know, you don't have a personality when you're, you're on a microphone. Yeah. I mean, it's... That is what it is, I guess. Yeah, and it's like it's something that you just learn. It's like repetition now. I think after after a while, like mm-hmm. if you get up so many times and you yeah, know, you get used. You want to wanna try something new? You just fucking do it. You know? Yeah. Somebody said something the other day where there's no substitution for mic time, which that's right. I mean, yeah. You, you if you don't go to open mics, you know, there's a chance, and I'm sure there are out there. You know, those people that are just you're just talented raw talent yeah and then it it for sure happens but yeah like um, for the most part i would say that people that do comedy it's it's all trial and error Mm -hmm. and one of my favorites is uh bill burr on his podcast he'll he'll say that he'll bomb like still every once in a while and he says that it humbles you Oh yeah, and I think that's kind of. I still bomb. That's why he's, now. he's. That's why he's my favorite because he's he's just like he's just this angry dude, and he's like, you know what? It is what it is, and that's yeah. what I like about. That. And I feel like a lot of the guys are like are afraid to bomb. <laughs> right. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I get that kind of notion from them. Yeah. Yeah, for uh, sure. Because it sucks. I mean, it does suck. Yeah. But like you, you, you can't. You can't expect to win all the time. Yeah. No. For sure. You know. I think yeah. a lot of these guys. You know, they they want they want like instant like gratification, and they yeah. want to be told like how funny they are. Mm-hmm. But every time, every, every single yeah, time, yeah, yeah, and like you, I think that's like so. Um, it's like false expect. I mean, it, it's not. It's unrealistic. Y- or what do you mean? No, I'm. What I'm saying is, you is think like, it's selfish. It's n- no. I just think it's the wrong to think wrong way to go. Because like if you tap if you just have your friends and you and like people telling you like, oh you did great you did great when you didn't yeah you're in this bubble yeah <laughs> you like, know what hey, I mean you're amazing and yeah. then you go out to the real world and I bombed still dude like I fucking bombed at Mad Hatter hard like about three weeks ago mm-hmm. about a month ago I want to say yeah hard it was terrible like, yeah <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, granted, I don't say anything nice either. Right, yeah. Which, but, that's what it is. And that's yeah. kind of my, my view on, on comedy. You know, it's like you have to be uh, an asshole because, every, like, everybody's an asshole. The other day. Well, I don't, look, I feel like everybody wants to. Well, that's true. I feel, this is how I just generally feel. 
I feel like everybody wants to be like Kevin Hart. Everybody wants to be Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Everybody wants to be Bill Burr. Everybody wants yeah. to be uh, <laughs> yeah Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Well, not, not 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 saying like you're not not as far as like your your goals and aspirations. Just like everybody just wants to be the guy that like everyone. Yeah, the famous the famous guy. No, like everybody oh, wants to like emulate them and like just be liked. Everybody yeah. likes those guys. Mm-hmm. Every like be a bad guy. Like, yeah. I like being the villain. Like you've seen yeah. my stand up. Like yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't like And I like and seeing that I don't like the I don't like the uh, I don't I just I just it turns me off, bro. Like it makes me it makes me it makes me feel better about myself, like making people laugh at the things that I talk about. Yeah. Than just like, oh, you know my family, this and that. And right. blah, blah, like I can't Yeah, you pretend to be some other guy. And and I think that's what it is to yeah. be like a comedian, because if you think about anybody that's really famous, um, or you know anybody that's a good comic, it they it, it's more like a peek into their life. It's a lot of personal, like a lot of jokes yeah. are. What, but, and if you want to be any of those guys, that's totally cool. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, yeah. all those <laughs> yeah, that's true. All if those you, comics that I named, I love them too. It's like, dude, it's a different person when you go on stage. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, you know, right? Yeah, that's kind of what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. But I get I get that all the time, you know. Like you've seen my shows, yeah, and you've seen yeah. like the way the crowd reacts to me with the things I say sometimes, yeah. And with me, like it's fine either way, you know. Yeah, yeah. You you already you already have a like a mentality, yeah. Of like, listen, you're gonna fucking laugh, and if not, like, fuck you. <laughs> Well, it's not fuck you. It's like, it's like, okay, well, I guess that you just weren't digging that. Right, yeah. That's, yeah, that's why, dude, and I've been going through like, uh, like a change of mind recently with this, everything. This year has been a fucking, it's been a fucking year. Especially for you. It's been a good year. I turned, I turned 30 and that's how it started. Because I had my party. Oh, fuck. And then at my party, I was like, you know what? Why not? Like, what else am I going to do? Yeah. You know, go all out for your party so... Uh, I put on like a little invitation and I put that it was my midlife crisis party mm-hmm. and it was pretty fucking like dead on <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right at 30 and everything. I, have, I bought a Corvette like it's on blocks and it's a fucking piece of shit, but I got a Corvette. <laughs> nice. You just got to put it together. I just got to put it together. What year is it? 79. Oh shit. Yeah. I'll show it to you right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. But, and I thought it was funny cause you know, it's one of those things where, uh, it just, it's just a birthday or it's nothing really. It's just a, another year Mm -hmm. and i took it upon myself and be like no you know what like this this year i'm gonna try to turn shit around and everything and yeah like it's 180 pretty much if you if you if you knew me like last year and this year it's like well i did know you last year yeah and i had short hair remember yeah (laughs) and that was i think that was my first step it's like you know what like Let's let's do it again. Let's be let's be an artist. Yeah. yeah. The good thing is like you can you can like always wake up tomorrow and be like, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try this now. Well, for a while, I yeah. <laughs> there was a couple of days there that I didn't know if I was gonna wake up. <laughs> well, yeah. technically, yeah. Yeah. It was, and see, that's the thing. Everybody tells me about like, dude, you had a motorcycle accident. You're back on the bike. It's like, well, yeah. It's, it's like bombing. If you bomb, you can get off stage. But except when you when you bomb on stage, you don't you don't physically die. Like yeah. your soul dies, but you don't physically die. And it's not like yeah, I only fucking, died for a little bit, I think. By the way, how was like what what did you like? Do, okay, <laughs> what did you see when you were unconscious? Nothing. I saw nothing. They were fucking both lines were turned off, and we joked about that with my friends. I'm trying to work a bit. Okay, but even but I heard I didn't see anything. I heard that you were out for like three days. Uh, I was. Uh, like out for about two days but i don't remember i don't remember being at the hospital at all what i remember <laughs> this is good that's on the podcast the only thing that i remember i remember like little flashes kind of like when you're like like blackout drunk you don't remember anything mm-hmm. what i remember is i don't know what medication they had me on or, or anything but i did get a concussion i wasn't wearing a helmet and i fucking went head on man from from where i see it the way people explained it is uh I think I hit somebody and I wasn't able to hit the brakes on time and everybody, you know, like on I-10, everybody, you know, comes to a complete stop or run through. And what I think happened is I think somebody probably cut me off and I tried to, you know, go out into the shoulder 
but my brakes locked up and I just fell. Yeah. So I went like head first, just from what I imagine, onto this person's bumper. Hmm. That's what I think. And I was out. And uh, I fell probably head first and just fell this way because it was like over here, nothing happened. I was fine. But over here, it was uh, my knee got a little banged up, all scratched up. Uh, I lost a shoe, which, you know, that happens when you're in an accident. And uh, I just broke my ankle and then a rib uh, and then some fractures on my face and my oh. tooth. Oh. Um, but it was mainly the concussion that, like, fucked me up that I don't remember anything. Like, yeah. And what I do remember in the hospital was they had me walking around when uh, when they fixed me or they patched me up and I was walking and I was like hey my foot hurts can you guys check my foot and then I don't remember anything else and then I remember just the voice being like oh yeah uh, I think your ankle's broken too oh. and I was like dude you guys had me walking around Fuck. the hospital with a broken ankle and uh, and that's it and I don't remember and then after that I was already home like here and my family all my, my sisters my sisters have been my my family and my sisters like they you know, like it makes you appreciate your family. Yeah, for sure. Um, but it wasn't. I mean, honestly, you know, it it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Yeah, for a motorcycle accident, raining, no helmet, and, you know. Well, you must so. have not have been going like that fast to. No, because I, I I'm a, I mean I know this is gonna fall in deaf ears, but I'm a good I'm a good driver. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a. But see, like, good but, but you know what the thing is, is like I, I've heard I've heard with like you from like you and like other writers that I know. Yeah. Uh, like you have to watch out for like the other people. Yeah. It's not really the writer. It's you know, and honestly, like unless like you're going like at some insane amount of speed. And I don't like I like cruising. Or like if you like, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh like, yeah, for unless sure. like you're like asking for trouble yeah you know most of the time it's like other people that like just don't check their blind spot or don't see yeah. you or like and i have this thing where i i would always say um that if if you're in an accident more than likely it's it's your fault either because it was probably your fault or because you weren't being careful you have to be careful that's really what it is yeah so for for mine it's like you know what that nah, was my fault like i was already i wanted to go uh, get home already and where were you at uh, at work. Mm. Yeah. So I, I think I got out like at, I don't get out at, well, after work. And, uh, uh, I was going to go see one of my friends and I didn't make it because I, it was late. I don't, I don't like to go out. And that's the thing. Like if you're going to have a hustle, like, you yeah. know, you have to, you're going to have to yeah. work hard after your job or whatever you have. Wow, dude. And, uh, and that's why I remember. And that's why everybody was all confused. It's like, yeah, like I should have been home already. And no, it's like, hey, it's like 11.30 and your son's at the hospital or your brother's at the hospital. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And uh, I was only in the ER for like And they took minutes. you to Del Sol or what? Uh, yeah. That to be Del Sol, right? Or which... which? Yeah, yeah. Because I, cause I crashed right in front. So oh, they're that's, like, hey. That's even was, better, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the perfect place to get into a motorcycle crash. Yeah, it was. It, it, was, it literally was like right on I 10, <laughs> like right in front of the toll. Yeah, it was wow. so, yeah. But, uh, and you know, they, they patched me up quick. Um, and I think I recovered pretty pretty. Fast. Now you look good. I'm already on a bike, man. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, it's like, it's like I, I've been talking to people about it, and not until I know it's going to be on a podcast, it's like, yeah. Like I'm, I'm like, like okay, I get it. That's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like bombing. You can't be afraid of. Well, I mean, fuck. I mean, it's not. It's. Really I, not. I mean, I get it, dude. I I don't even know like how even to compare that. How how to compare a, a motorcycle crash to to bombing? I mean, like I've seen people's <laughs> jokes crash I mean, and burn, you, but you I've never seen like. Up a, there. <laughs> Just get back. No, yeah, nah, you'll be all right. You just, you just <laughs> yeah. go back up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's, I guess that's what it is. Um, but I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm more careful now. I'll eventually, I'll have to get a helmet. I've had people tell me, it's like, well, fucker, I'm gonna get you a helmet. Yeah, it's you need like, to okay, get a helmet. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll get. It's weather's getting cold. I'm, I will be on my car. Um, so I'll be safe. I'll be, and like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I was really, it's been a year, man, and I'm. I'm getting better. At yeah. Life. I'm, this is one of the things, the podcast. Uh, hopefully, you'll be back, you know? Yeah, of course, so, Dan. Yeah. Let me know. And uh, 
uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's fine. You know, uh, there's a certain aspect where you have to, you can't just keep thinking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, listen, I, I could have died. It could have been so much worse, but I'm not. So yeah, let's learn from this and make the second half better. Well, I freaked out when I think your sister tagged you in a post or yeah, something. Yeah, that's you, what everybody told me. You were picture, there right? like with tubes in your face and shit like that. <laughs> yeah, and I was yeah. just like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Then? yeah. And that's why that's why I'm telling you, I I heard about that Father Stu movie. Mm -hmm. and, my, and she told me about it. And yeah, I watched it last night, I think, or a couple days ago. Uh, and yeah, like his face, on Mark, or the makeup, I think it's Mark Wahlberg. The scene where his family comes and sees him at the hospital, I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, yeah, see, I get it, I get it. And I was like, "Damn!" Like, did you do like the whole Leonardo DiCaprio meme? Like, hey, that's that's, 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 yeah. me. that's me. That's me. I get it. Yeah. Oh man, that's so. I I didn't I didn't like talked about it in such detail, like mm. the, about the whole accident. Um, but yeah, and that's one of the th reasons why I was like, "All right, dude," like. Start, I started writing more, mm. and then I started doing the theater. Okay. So that's why I'm going back to school now and everything. It, it's, it's been a good, like, experience overall because it, it got me out of, like, this weird rut where I was. And yeah. It was like a marking point where it's like, all right, this happened. Like, now you got to change stuff. Yeah. And I am. So. Yeah, well, it takes time, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and, uh. Yeah, I mean everything's gonna be fine, and that's why I'm doing. I'm showing up more at open mics. That's good. And uh, I'm doing. I'm writing a lot more, uh, but it's uh, it's hard. Like yeah. it's really fucking hard, and not not the comedy and everything because it helps me. If I'm here just at the house by myself, it's like fuck, man. Like you gotta do something. Yeah. So that's why it helps to uh, go anywhere and then yeah, get on get on stage. Yeah. There you go. Are you gonna? Um are you going to try and do El Paso's Funniest in November? Uh, I think I'm already too late for it. No? I'm not? Well, I think the winner of tonight's open mic gets free entry, but I'm not I'm not, I'm not going to. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. But you should go check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, well, well I'm not I'm going because I'm not, I'm not going to do the competition. Because you year. already. No, well, I'm not. I'm not you no, already it, beat it. No, I just. I No, no, I haven't. I didn't beat it. Oh, really? Uh, Were you no. in it last year? I, yes, I was. And uh, I got beaten out for second or third. I can't remember. I think it was third place. Who won? I don't even remember. Uh, Darius Jackson won last year, my ah, homie. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> Where's he at? I heard he's like in California. He moved, right? No, so yeah, well, he's in Austin. Oh, no. Fuck, that guy, too, man. He's a fucking he's a crazy guy. He's badass. I hadn't seen him in, in a long time, and that makes sense. Yeah, no, he just yeah. took off into the sunset and never came back. I That's, guess. hey, you know what? I, I might follow him depending on what happens here. <laughs> yeah, no, do it, man. No, I. I'm I'm working from El Paso, and like I said, I just went to school, but that's badass. I mean, plus yeah. a lot of comics from here go over there. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure. But I'm have not, you seen him? Uh, I I haven't spoken to him in a while. I gotta I gotta call him. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm not doing the competition this year, people. I'm not doing it. So uh, it's gonna be easy for because um, one, uh, I am I am a, an extremely sore loser, obviously. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, uh, you get mad. It's like fuck this. Well, place. I was upset last year. Really? I did. I did get oh, mad. That would have been great, man. To post that on Facebook if you just had a tantrum and fuck this mic. Fuck this. No, mic. no. It's because. Uh, oh fuck. We're fucking telling everything, anyways. I just. Yeah, I, mean, I just. Hey, I just, just didn't don't think the judging was fair. What? I yeah. Why? I just did. Well, first of all. <laughs> okay. First of all, I'm gonna go on a little rant here. Number one. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. The 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 fucking the whole and I get it from a business standpoint. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I get it from a business standpoint Jeez. of of go and buy your tickets. I mean, here's ten tickets or whatever the fuck they give you. Uh huh. And go sell them. Yeah. So your family comes watches you. Okay. Okay. Or your friends or whoever. Yeah. People you know. Yeah. Okay. So automatically, you're buying. Votes. <laughs> oh, okay, you're buying votes. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the whole problem that yeah, I you have. You should invite more people. <laughs> like that's the thing, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you, you invite these people, and let's just say you, 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 you fucking invite them and they don't come. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or like they. Yeah, yeah. Or you know, I look, listen. Are they again, vote for somebody else. I, again. Did, did one of your buddies vote for somebody else? No, 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 no. I wasn't the case. It's just, <laughs> it's just. I just felt that um, just because some person or this individual yeah. 
uh, brought more people to vote for them. They uh, won. Or they lost or out. You're right, yeah. No, oh, fuck up. I think he's a, your, I think he's a guest next week or No, it's not it's not a he or, or she she might be a guest too. But what I'm saying is, is I I just don't and that's fine, man. Like I get it. I love I love the people who are putting on the show. I'm not by any means like they'll belittling like yeah. their business standpoint of it. Over there? No, we're there right here. No. Belittling their, their, the, the business aspect right. of it. I just don't think, like, the voting... I just... I'm not a fan of the voting mm-hmm. method. Right. Like, no, that makes buy sense. Buy your own vote. Like, buy votes. Yeah, because it, it should be... I think this year... Because, they, like, you they have, have judges, like, don't they? Like, like... I think like it's the same comedians. format as last year. Mm, okay. I, I didn't check it out last year. It was actually pretty tight. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. it up there. And, and I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I, and it's all good. Like, yeah, it's yeah. it's good to be. You know, it's good that you're you're like fuck. Like I lost. It's like make me next. Well, year, that's another know, thing. Back and that's another thing. So like, because uh, you said you got what like third place? No, I got technically I got fourth. Okay, but it should have been third. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But then but, this person beat but, you out. But see, that's the thing. People. Like, um, what I'm what I'm trying to say is like, you could be. Anybody could be like the worst comic in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get you it. Could exactly. be, you could yeah, be yeah. the worst comic of yeah. all time. You know, at and work. you can invite 150 people to this thing, yeah. and if they vote for you and give you all tens, you yeah. fucking win. El Paso's funniest, right? You know like, what? That Thanks. makes absolutely gonna... no fucking sense to me. Right, it doesn't. You know what? I'm gonna try to invite a bunch. Of, I'm gonna try to get on there, and I'm gonna invite a shitload of people. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I respectfully the decline the invite. Uh, <laughs> Um, a, yeah. I was invited. I'm selling tickets. You want to buy a ticket? I will. I will. I, I'll go to that, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go up. Uh, right? No, no. No. I went to sell you a ticket so you could vote for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'll definitely <laughs> give you ten. Uh, I'll, yeah, no, dude. Fuck all. Right? That. No, no. I get it. And that and, and that's know, what pissed me off last year. And like, yeah. I was like, and I should have handled it a little bit better because I was right. like visibly upset that oh, I lost. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, like at the moment? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I was literally expecting uh, Punchy to like say my name for, for well, Darius ran away with first place. I'll give him that one. Okay. Uh, at second, third, and at, and at least judges best, which was won by Otis, who mm-hmm. I love also. Yeah. But I I just I felt like some type of way. Not gonna lie. No, yeah, I'm, it, and, and, it makes sense because I worked really hard. Exactly. And uh, to just to come to lose by like two votes. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, one, yeah. One vote. Like that's that's like wow. Like yeah. You know, but it it is what it is. But uh, you know, but the guys were like, "Why are you so mad?" And I was just like, "Because I fucking hate to lose, bro. Yeah, I still hate good. to lose. Right. Yeah. You know, I I I think uh, I think. And that's good. And that's good, good that you. A, I'm a good. It, I'm a gracious winner. I'm not a sore winner. <laughs> okay. Like, Except when it yeah, comes I deserve to, this. when it comes to football, it's a little different. But like yeah. But. I'm, but but in real life, in, re- in reality, like I'm a very gracious winner. Yeah. If I if I were to win El Paso's Funniest, I would have just probably just got my trophy and left. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because even if you're a winner, you don't want to be like, oh, that fuck that guy. Like, yeah. I'm not, not going to be like Darius Jackson, who who <laughs> like, went around uh, parading, his, parading trophy. his trophy like the fucking Stanley Cup, <laughs> taking it to breakfast and shit like that. <laughs> But no, uh, no, you know, why I, not? I, I, it's whatever though, man. I, I'm just, I, I, but again, <laughs> like Darius. I, again, I, I think, uh, I think, um, I don't know. I just, I just feel like the voting was a little skewed. Yep. Yeah, you know, and, that's, uh, hey, you know what? And that's fair. You know, and I, I got into it with another comic. Yeah. Um, who was like, well, they said this person and this person did pretty good that night. And I said, hey, well, you know, like, if that's how you feel, that's good. But I, I feel differently. Mm-hmm. Right. I feel See, and that's the thing. I think and that, and here's if another, you're taking it serious. Yeah, and here's another thing. Like comedy is like so subjective, bro. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. like just because this person, this person doesn't find me funny, they'll find you funny, or they'll find so and so funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I just think. I just think. Like personally, though. Mm-hmm. Or no, like you mean like if somebody personally doesn't no, like, it, like no, 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 like no, he was I'm, funny, I'm, but I'm gonna vote for somebody else. No, well, uh, it, that can be that too, but that, yeah. um, but I'm talking from like a comedy standpoint, from like a, like as a comedy fan. Ah, oh, well, I don't like uh, person A's comedy. Mm-hmm. I didn't like their 
what they had to say too much. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to vote for person B. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And I would respect that more than fucking done with the, what happened with the buying and votes that. yeah exactly shit like that right like i i, I kind of like want to tell the people like let's all fucking meet up at at fucking san alizario at the at the pistoleros the yeah. theater uh-huh pack that place out yeah. we don't know anybody yeah and then let's let's go let's do let's, let's do, do a competition funniest. yeah make it then, more and, it, and then if i fair. lose then by all means. You know what? That's true. I hadn't thought about that. Because immediately, if you're inviting somebody and your family buys a ticket, yeah, like that's almost for sure a vote for you. Yeah. I know that's how it worked, actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'll be in it this year. Because, um, again, like I said, I, I'm just getting back into writing and stuff. And a lot of the stuff, it's it's good stuff. But my problem's always been it's like fucking a story. Yeah. So you, you had a joke about that actually uh, a while back. About where it's what? like, I like when an angel goes up on stage because it's like a nap time or something like that. <laughs> no, I, oh, no, no. I said, <laughs> I, I remember. I, I said, a, no, no, because like you, story were, you, you, were, you were just new, right? Um, you were like a couple yeah, months ago. Yeah. But I didn't mean it maliciously. Oh, no, no. For I, and see, that's I, a thing. I, it, I, fuck yeah. I, do it maliciously. I, no, no, because that's not, that's not right. Okay. Uh, because I'm not, I'm not there to tell you like what, what, what you what you should do yeah you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i'm just there telling you what i think you should do right kind of oh no, no but it was a i think it was just a joke and i think that's where oh yeah that's because fair. because I think that's where it's fair because i was like hey dude but i complimented you i was like hey you got like good stuff like no, your, and, your, and your that... stuff is there <laughs> but you're you i felt like you were uh uh, just dragging on a no, little yeah, too long. No, I do. I, I like dragging, but <laughs> no, no, I don't like dragging. But no, no I got right. it. And, yeah, we don't have to talk about that. It's no, no it's big deal. And it's it's basically your it's my my end of your journey as a comedian. Yeah, you know how how much uh, effort you put forward. That's what you're gonna you're gonna see on the other side. And then sometimes, kind of like in your case, where you're like, yeah, dude, like I've been busting my ass to be funny and do jokes and shit. So if you if you're see somebody else that's not putting in the work or, or mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. you're like i'm busting my ass it i think that makes it perfectly like acceptable for i think it's justifiable upset. right yeah i, yeah. I mean because you're busting your ass out there and it's not easy and, and here's and here's the thing like about me i think i think a lot of people get it confused and it's not me being a sore loser either it's just um i, I was i was born an athlete man Mm-hmm. You know, ever like oh, yeah. you know, yeah, I, you you got to win. You're I, in it to I win. I played it. football. I played baseball, basketball. Uh, you know, I I was in you know karate at one point. Yeah. You know, and everything it's, was mm-hmm. like competition. Everything mm-hmm. was the yeah. goal of this is just to the goal of of, of the game is to win. Mm-hmm. That's that's what you need to do. Right, like simple, super simplified. And, that is what it is. And that's where I also grew by not taking myself so seriously anymore. Was because I felt like uh, I was being too hard on myself. Yeah. Um, and I was like, man, like I need to win. Was this what you saw like right after the competition, or like leading up to a competition? Uh, it was after. It okay. Was after. Um, but. Like I again, like I have done like one, two, three, four. I don't know how many competitions, and I've only won one. Yeah. So no, yeah, obviously, it. it's not a very good track record. But yeah, well, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. But you've also started very recently. Yeah. You know, like a lot of these comics that like big time comics are like, no, like you got to do five, ten years before you start seeing these benefits. Yeah. So I think you're doing really well. Well, I mean, thank like you, man. I said, you know, and plus, like a lot of the uh, the stuff that I've seen you on, it's. You always have something. You have you're you already kind of have a brand, kind of not brand, but you have a style. Yeah, and I think that's good because um, you. I think that's the hardest thing to do, like kind of find your voice. Yeah, you know, and I think you already got that, um, and I think that's why you've been doing so fucking like good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Man. No, I just you know like I, I go back and like I record myself. I listen to her like I mean, yeah. and I still mess up to this day, man. Like yeah, uh, as good as that. Uh, old sheep dot brewery show was mm-hmm. i felt like after the show like i had fun there was a great crowd i had a ton of fun yeah you want a beer um sure i'll take one more yeah. but uh what i what i felt was i felt like i um i felt like I, I left a lot of meat on the bone okay um i forgot like two three jokes like i came home like kicking myself 
Okay. And I was like, man, like here at um the last one with uh, Julian. Yeah. What was the the show you did? Didn't you go out of town before that? Where? Um, yeah, I did. I I, saw I, you, I, um, I went out of town with uh, uh, I did a show with uh, Loose Pazos. Oh yeah, that's right. And Jamar, Jamar oh. Hall, and up in um. Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Yeah, dude, that was that show was a lot of fun, dude. Um, I love going to I love going to New Mexico. It's uh, it's so I know they call it the land of enchantment, but it really is. It's kind of a nice. Yeah, well, like, some parts. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think Albuquerque is like all that though. Uh, I think it's got some good parts. I, I've does. been through. Yeah, I've been to like the ugly. It's parts a very hip, it's a very hipster town. Mm-hmm. Like okay. A very hipster college town, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't you know. know college over there. Huh? Yeah, in Univ- uh, UNM. New Mexico, oh, really? University of New Mexico. I know that it's kind of yeah. big because like they have like Netflix and a bunch of other stuff. Well, yeah, they could, I mean that a right. lot of movies, dude. There's a lot of movies yeah. being made up there. Yeah, so uh, that's yeah, that's good. Um, I know Jerry's up there. Mm-hmm. Like he he was in here too, and uh, he's what. And see, that's my thing about the podcast. It's I I know, like you said, and I think that's it happens everywhere. There's drama, you know. Mm-hmm. It could come up anywhere if you yeah. make a comment or if yeah. No, if I mean I don't give a shit. But, exactly, you know. and that's the cool thing. It's like it doesn't matter what what you. Th- that's at least the way I see it. Mm-hmm. It's like if you're gonna make fun of me on stage, just go for it because it doesn't matter. Like you're just trying to. Ultimately, what it is, you're just trying to make the people that are there not being comics. Yeah. You just want to make them laugh because. That's what it is, and then plus the if you're doing it for just a comedy, the other mm-hmm. com- comics know. Yeah, and you know, like yeah. Well, I've never been malicious on right. stage. I think my yeah. jokes have been, I mean, they're not very nice, needless to say. Yeah. But and I like I like your style. I really like your style, <laughs> but that's because I'm an asshole too. So, yeah, you know. You know but I mean, um, or I am an asshole. I don't know. But I I, I just kind of like well, you know, it is what it is, you know. Um, I don't really let let it bother me at all. I just when it when it comes to the drama, man, I just, I just stay yeah. out, I just stay out Same of it. Here. Uh, like, I mean, it, it does come to my doorstep every now and then. <laughs> yeah, because uh, sure. you know you see it. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. And uh, you know you can't really. And it's human nature to yeah to and just... plus everybody's like again again like that's why I'm saying like I don't believe in competitions or any type of like. Comedy, especially in comedy, because like there's really no competition at all. Yeah, like everybody has their own lane. Exactly. It's just like some people just get there faster than others. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, one of these things that's been said a lot is that uh, there's enough crowds like for everybody. Yeah, and like I, there there literally is. Yeah. There really, really is. So you know, if you're funny, that you're gonna. Yeah. No. Like, that's make why. It. Like I see, like some of I see, like some of the newer guys, like yeah, like fucking pounding their chest and shit. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, like it's not that deep, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, like, yeah, that, but it's they'll, true. they'll learn in time, you know. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So what is it? Okay, so this is one of the questions I ask everybody. Why? What pushed you to fucking go on stage like that first time? Mm, well, uh, this was. My first time. Yeah. Uh, so I have to pack track a week. So the week before I went up, mm-hmm. I was at Scenix. Okay. And this is like right after I think like January twenty twenty one. So there was like kind of still kind of like restrictions oh, yeah. and like things like that. And Scenix. Yeah, that's true. Remember? Yeah. And Scenix was one of the first places that opened. By the way, mm-hmm. I uh, I've been going even before I started stand up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been going to Scenic since they opened in 2019. Oh, okay. Uh, Yesenia, the owner, mm-hmm. she's a good friend of mine. Oh, cool. And her dad, I mean, her her mom and my dad uh, do business together. Oh, okay. So, um... Yeah, so you were there, like, supporting the bar before... Yeah, I would go there... Yeah. It, 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 I mean, it's a normal Friday night for me to get over, to go over there and just get fucking hammered. Mm-hmm. But I was doing that before I got into stand-up. Right. You know, um... But the truth is... Uh, I I went into Scenix one night. This is like right. At, I think this is like one of the first Fridays they were open after pandemic. Okay. And that's uh, a good spot too, dude. It's fucking. It's, yeah. it's great. It's outside, inside. It's like, great. Yeah. It's great. Badass. So I go in there, and I usually um, I would I would get off work, I'd change, hang out for a little bit, hang out at the house, and then uh, around like seven, around like eight o'clock, eight thirty, I I. 
go to Scenix. Mm-hmm. And there, it was a normal Friday night. I like fucking playing my music on the jukebox. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Fuck. Fuck. yeah, I would have uh, on that the touch the tunes. Tune. Sorry, it's an old term. Touch <laughs> no, tunes. Yeah. <laughs> not the touch tunes. No, it's just, it, it's a jukebox. I, that's a term I know, too. Yeah. And <laughs> I just picture like the fonts. It's like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hey, fucking hey. Um, yeah. Uh, so I was at Scenix and um, this dude, this fucking buff dude with tattoos, walks in through the side door and fucking brings in a fucking speaker and he puts up this banner yeah. that says El Paso Underground Comedy. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, yeah. When I saw the fucking banner that said comedy, I was like, "Fuck this!" You're gonna ruin my drinking. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Well, I wasn't in the mood to hear fucking stand-up comedy. <laughs> okay. Because yeah. I was, I was going through, I was going through like a a really bad breakup at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck. And uh, that's your fuel. Yeah. Well, babe, not yeah. yes and no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I. I was going through a bad breakup and like I was just going through it that day mm, and uh, God, I was at Scenics and fucking Jerry walks in. I I never seen him in my life. I don't know him. Yeah, some buff dude setting some up. Some buff dude setting up shit. Yeah, I'm like some, I'm like fuck, dude. I, I do DJ. not I do not want to fucking hear <laughs> stand up comedy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because believe it or yeah, not, yeah, it's you're going yeah. through a whole yeah, thing. Like, yeah. I, like I don't like what what. And I was kind of being a dick about it. I was like, what kind of fucking person wants to hear local fucking... Con- I don't want to hear it. Okay. You know, I was Fuck. like, I was just in a really, like, petty mood that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, it, like, dude, before I knew... And then the one thing that I liked about Scenix was mm. that it was Friday, but it wouldn't get too packed in there. Mm, yeah. It wouldn't get too packed. But then, like, everybody showed up because it was like right after pandemic dude like all the comics showed up and i had no mm-hmm. idea who anybody was yeah and i watched them and i was like eh, i think i can do that okay and uh yeah I, I went home and but you didn't go up that like that day Mm-mm. okay i thought i initially thought i didn't even know it was an open mic i didn't know what an open mic was i right. just i just thought like there was a comedy show people went mm-hmm. and oh, okay yeah. yeah damn you were that like Unaware of it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had no idea like what the terminologies were. Like I had no yeah. like I had no idea like anything like everything that I kind of know now. Yeah. It, I I, no I, I like nothing. Okay. So like I was like I didn't even. Um, and I did. T- did you listen to comedy before or? I dude, I've been a huge fan of comedy my right. whole life. Oh, okay. That's the thing. Because I know like well I know like but I just never I I I just thought like. I literally thought like comedians like just got famous from like being on like Comedy Central and T V mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, you thought like you had to go, oh like if I wanna be a comedian I have to go to like California or whatever yeah. and uh-huh. then go like uh-huh. audition for other studios or whatever. Uh-huh. That makes sense. That actually makes sense is if you know, if you don't know how how that works, that's what immediately you would think. Like, oh well if I wanna be uh you know anything go to the place where those people are like yeah if you're gonna be in movies go to hollywood and you know be in a movie or whatever yeah but i i uh you had no idea about it yeah i had no idea man so and then what did you go up like the week after or what uh-huh well okay i i i found out i could go up but it was too late but i didn't have any jokes written or nothing like mm-hmm. that i was just like oh okay like that looks cool and then Rogelio Avila was there sitting down oh, okay. with his with his boys. Mm-hmm. And I asked him, I was like, hey, dude, like, how do you go up? And he was like, he's like, oh, uh, is this a com-? I was like, is this a comedy show? He's like, no, it's, it's open mic. And I was just like, what the fuck is an open mic? Yeah. And he uh, was just like, oh, well, anybody can go up there and try it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, really? And so I watched the guys and they were all right. Yeah. And I was like, ah, I think I can give it a try. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, the next week I went up at Phoenix. At Phoenix, and I was the last comic mm-hmm. to go up because I was like, like teeter tottering whether I should do it or not. Okay, but yeah. I ended up doing it. Yeah, that's good. And uh, the bug caught me. And yeah, a year and a half, almost two years later, here I am. So, 
so yeah, it, it's been uh, it's been an interesting year and eight months. Fuck, man. <laughs> year and ten months actually, ten months because January was oh yeah, yeah, ten mm-hmm. months. So coming that's up, still a short time. It d- it really is. It, yeah, it's not. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it feels like yeah, because like when you're feeling. Plus, I'm sure you've had all the experiences too, like you traveling and you know you get to hang out with other comics and everything. So it's all if it's all brand new stuff and it's jam packed in what two years? Yeah, a year and a half. Yeah, and I've been like incredibly yeah, lucky because okay. like um, you know, that as much as I'm, I'm poking fun at the guys today, but um, <laughs> yeah. everybody that 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 the the scene's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's one of the things I like. Um, it's like because it's out there. If you want to try hard and be a comedian, like, yeah, you're, the no, and the there. scene's great. Everybody's cool. Uh, I, I personally haven't had a problem with anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, you know, we might have our indifferences, right, yeah. and whatnot, but you know, we don't like fight over it. You know, mm-hmm. um, yeah. But I think the scene's great, man. Like everybody's kind of like doing their own thing, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, you know, just as long as I feel like if you're not, just as long as you don't hinder other people's like success, or, exactly. Like you're 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 good because it makes you look bad, and that's kind of going back to like there's enough crowds yeah for everybody so whenever i see people not just in comedy like in everything else you know uh if you see people just fighting over like no i want to and and in certain things there there are Mm -hmm. you know but in comedy like it's really just if you're funny yeah you you are really gonna make it and you're just funny if you if you like set your mind to it yeah and there's enough work to go around man like Mm -hmm. Um, oh yeah, that's why I don't. That's why I don't worry about it. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, dude, it, it's cool, man. I, I I really don't like. Get, like I said, I don't get into it, but uh, yeah. Uh, but the and scene, I don't think it's because once you're if the scene you're, is great though. The scene is doing. I think so. The scene is great. Everybody like, dude. There's a bunch of good guys that are coming up. Like Hobo's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I just saw him yesterday. Yeah, Hobo's great. Um, trying to think of who else. Uh, the new guys are cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of guys that are coming up that are really, that are really like doing their thing. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah. Hobo is one of those good ones that, uh, mm-hmm. he's, uh, I don't even know when he started either. I, I invited him too. And he's like, yeah, dude, well, I think we want. started at the same time. at Did he really? Yeah. Oh shit. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cause right now he's, uh, I think he's working at the comic strip. Now. Yeah. He just got a job <laughs> there. He's the cook. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was badass. Um, I think that's a good fit too, especially for Hobo. Oh mm-hmm. my God. I'm like. That's gonna be. Hopefully, he gets a lot of like shit out of that. That's mm-hmm. badass. Um, so, what are you? You're still doing shows, and you're because you're you go on like tours, right? Like with people already. Like you get invited to. Well, they invite me. There's not really a tour, um, right? I just get invited to do a show here and there. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Yeah. I guess that's um, true. See, so, yeah, I. That's like like the show I did with Luz Pazos. Like since she was coming to El Paso, mm-hmm. and me and her are buddies. We just. I met her up there. Yeah, it's like, hey, let's put on a show. Well, she wanted to put on the show. Mm-hmm. She's the one that put it on and put me up. Yeah. So, I mean, that's always clutch to, like, know people Hell like yeah. that. Yeah, especially if uh, if you're doing some material and somebody already knows you. And yeah. Or, like, if you're in a city that, like, uh, uh, if you're in a city, like, for example, like, uh, I did um, I did CB Live the other day. Uh, or CB Live? It's a comedy club in Phoenix. Oh, we should base. That Luce was able to get me on. She wasn't on the show. She wasn't there, but she knows the people that run that thing. Right, so she was able to. Plus, all that helps, too. Like, I know a lot of comedians, you know, whenever you record your sets and stuff and you put it on, on your social yeah. media you know or whatever. What's weird is I don't like to do that. Yeah, that's good. I'll post pictures of myself. Exactly, yeah. But I don't like to post my material. Yeah, no, no, I don't think a lot of people post their materials, but a lot of people do uh, a lot of social media, like, advertising or mm-hmm. whatever. Not advertising, but, you know, you'll post that you're going to be doing comedy. You know, and I feel bad because, like, people are like, we want to see your material, we want to see your jokes. Yeah, well, and come I'll out was, and look at, come out and watch uh, it. Yeah, and I feel bad. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll maybe, like, send a video to, like, one of my friends that, like, lives in Philadelphia or... L- somebody like, that can't... You know, somebody that physically cannot see. come to the show. Right. Yeah. Um... Plus, it's people that are, like, supporting you. Yeah. So, that's good. Yeah. So, like, I'll send them, like, like clips or I'll send them, like, my comic comic strip sets, mm-hmm. you know, just yeah, to, yeah. like, get a feel, like, 
Yeah, yeah no, and it's good because you you have to get even if it's not just them, like you do have to to get yourself out there to people that are not just here. Yeah, that way you know somebody can also hear it, um, like in nearby cities, mm-hmm. and then that that way you get chances to. Oh, you know, you don't depend just fully on somebody like oh, I'm just gonna present myself at in El Paso. And then I'll just be at the mercy at whoever comes by. Yeah, and like yeah. I feel bad because like people ask me like, "Oh, can we see a clip? Can we see this? Can we see that?" <laughs> yeah. And I was just, I'm very like adamant about it because it's your material. It's like your, it's your product. Yeah, and and yeah. To, and I would, but like I'm st- like I'm still working on like my. I don't even have like I'm still growing. Like yeah, I can't sit down and I can't stand up and like give you like an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can try. And that's, kinda, and that's kinda what I told myself uh recently since I started working on here. It's like listen, if you're gonna if you're gonna take it serious, like take it serious. Don't just work on like, oh I'm gonna develop these 10, 15, 20 minutes. It's yeah. like no, you have to work on uh, write a whole hour and then put material enough for an hour and then at each open mic work fifteen. Well, well I like 10. to do I like to do uh my method is is I like to do uh, I like to work in fives. Exactly. Exactly. Like you, I don't like to. I, I like because like you only get I don't know, but like seven, seven, eight min- minutes, and we're spoiled here in El Paso, by the way. Really? Yes. Because if you go to an open mic out of town, you're gonna three have to, minutes. You're gonna have to pay, and there's like a thousand fucking people there. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get three minutes, two minutes. Yeah. I did an open mic in Austin. There was like forty people on the list. Sure. And when do they start too? Oh, they, they start, dude. It's Austin, bro. They do whatever the fuck they want over there. Like this one started, yeah. I think, like at eight. And I didn't go up, Ooh. and I was like lucky enough. Uh, I think this one, this one, this was <laughs> one of the about eleven thirty. Yeah, this one was one of the the better ones that. Mm-hmm. When, and I and I didn't again. I didn't really. Uh, you know, it's a very liberal town, it's a very PC town. So like, oh shit, you can that's just, right. You can just imagine how my set went. Yeah, I, I can actually. That's yeah. true. Oh man, see, that's the kind of shit that I I'd like to go watch. You know, a, a lot of comedians talk about like whenever they're at the like the famous spots and stuff. You know, in California or New York, even mm-hmm. that one of the things that I like to hear is when if you're if you're just having an off night and you're not doing very well. The other comics know that you're a good comedian. They'll start like heckling you. Oh shit! And, and not heckling, but you know they'll start talking shit. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're already doing bad, and and it's funny. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one of those things that it's where you where you said it. You don't you take yourself serious, but you also have to understand like, hey, like people are out here to have fun and stuff too. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah, I get it. Like, and it's still your. I mean, it's a job, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. But I mean, you learn and you you, you you learn as you go. It's one of those like you. Yeah. There's no like a guidebook to how to do. I mean, there are yeah. books on there, books out there like yeah. how to be a stand up comedian. <laughs> but I, I think all those books are bullshit. A lot anyways. of yeah, yeah. Nobody respects that. It's you like know? no. It's like you, you took a class. <laughs> you go and you learn how to do it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. There's always like the only how... way you learn is by just literally jumping in with the sharks. Mm-hmm. Exactly. No, yeah, that's either the sink best or you swim. So. Yeah. That's and that's true. I think that's the best uh, thing to do. And you know, for for me, one of those things. I think it's still funny. I don't know if it's because of the comedy that I listen to or the comedians, but mm-hmm. it's like if you bomb and you're already like a good comedian, mm-hmm. it's like you know what, just take it. Just yeah. Just well, a lot it. of them still don't like to bomb. A lot of them. Well, no, you. I mean, because you, yeah. you, if you're a comedian, and you've been doing it for years. Of course not. But if you do, it's like you know what? Okay. Like I take bombs with like now like. Because, I mean, it does happen, you know, because, again, like, the crowd, I need to have my crowd. Like, I need a crowd that's, like, down to, yeah. like, be fucked up with me. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And I think that... And if they're not, then it's going to, you mm-hmm. know, be a little rough. Right. Yeah, you'll always get uh, people that won't... There was a... Uh, I went into San Antonio, and they they had a... I was coming back already, so I missed the, the open mic. But it was one of those things where I just happened to be... In San Antonio, and I thought to myself, it's like I should just go up. If I'm already here, go to the open mic. And it was like I think I left on a Tuesday, and uh, the open mic was Wednesday or Thursday. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh. And it was one of those things where I psyched myself too. It's like, oh, like I'm telling myself, if I would have been here, I would have been up there. But it's like yeah. I didn't have anything ready to go. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Um, Sometimes I'll just like I'll do some. Like if I if I find like a new tag in like a one of my old jokes, mm-hmm. I'll try that joke again with like the new tag or like a new like mm-hmm. uh, setup. 
Yeah, and that, you always have to try that, I think. And that's what's good about open mics, because mm-hmm. that's where you try something new. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's been but it's been fun, man. I, I I've been, I've enjoyed um uh doing this. Yeah. I, I, I've enjoyed it more than I than I thought I would. You're not slowing down. That's mm. good. That's what you need. And yeah. see, that's what we need here here in El Paso cuz <laughs> Nico, oh, fuck, I, I don't know how he's going if he's going to hear this, but uh I Nico introduces himself to me every time that uh-huh. I see him. And the other day he introduced himself and he had a like a thing at a at one of the bars here. And I went to to go to be part of it, um, and I introduced myself to him. It's like, hey, Nico, my name's Angel, and everything. He was he was playing along with me. He's like, all right, Angel, like, what's up, man? Like, I get it. <laughs> you're here, and I'm like, dude, that's exactly why I'm doing it. It's like, cause you know, it's like, are you gonna introduce yourself to me again? And I get it. Like, I had my hair short. Sometimes I'll leave it like this. Sometimes I'll have a ponytail, and then the facial hair. Sometimes I'll have this. Mm-hmm. And then I'll you know I'll switch it up on everybody so I think I throw them off also. Oh yeah. But I, I mean I had to you know you have to do it because it's like that it's um uh, it's like the way I kind of see it it's like coworkers. Yeah. Kinda. Uh, because it's people that if you're starting out with somebody you're gonna see them at open mics mm-hmm. and you start you know on your downtime you start talking about them or to them about just mm-hmm. shit so it makes sense but I. I'm barely starting to take a lot of things serious. So that's good, man. Yeah, that's the only way to to get things done is to be serious about it. Yeah, you can't you can't yeah. dick around and like mm-hmm. I, I do that a lot. Expect things to yeah get done, you know. Yeah, but no, I I, I like I said, I, I've had I've had a lot of fun doing stand up. You mm-hmm. know, especially the 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 people that I've that I've been able to hang out with. that yeah, I've been oh, privileged yeah, sure. to hang out with. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you oh, know, for sure. Like, you know, making friends with like people like Joy Medina, Luz mm-hmm. Pazos, uh, Monty Franklin, mm-hmm. uh, Rob Little, uh, um, yeah, just guys cool. that I've opened. John Henton from mm-hmm. like he was a I didn't oh. and he was another guy that I had to like Google because he was pretty popular too in the nineties. Uh huh. Because he was a little before my time. I was like he mm-hmm. was popular when I was just a like an infant. Yeah. So to open up for him. To open oh, up for him. No, no, no. I had to. I had to burp. I had to burp. No, I had to burp. Uh, but to open up for him was fucking awesome. Mm. Um, but yeah, dude, um, it's been great. Hell yeah, it's been great. dude! It's so nice to fucking hear that shit. It's inspirational. Like, yeah, cheers. no, just do it, man. Just cheers, fucking man, do man, your cheers. shit. That's Please. what I tell people, bro. Like, <laughs> like, you know, and I it's get you gotta put yourself out. And I get that's all and, and I, honest. Well, not just that. Like, you gotta like. It's all about. It's all about attitude. It's not really like. Mm-hmm. This is the way I do things. Like, like sometimes I catch myself like being down on myself. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, like, ah, oh, like I don't know if I'm good enough, blah blah blah. But like, mm-hmm. you know, I, and I still do. It's human nature, dude. Like to like. Yeah. It's like it's like uh, especially that fight or flight. Yeah. Well, especially kind like of. when you see like people that are actually like doing things that are like on TV. They're on fucking Joe Rogan podcast. They're like doing shit. Yeah. And you're like hanging out with these people, and I'm like, I'm like, fuck. I don't know if like I have what it takes to even fucking hang out with them, you know? Yeah. Or like not hang out with them, but mm. like just be on their level. But like the fact yeah. that like don't like. Like the the fact that like some of these people like have invested in me, mm-hmm. you know that kind of like yeah you don't want to disappoint either yeah because you you want to be able to like live up to the expectations and I think that's good it's good that you're humble but I I understand the whole like beating yourself up for it because mm-hmm. uh, I think that's I think that's very I think it happens a lot like just in society but I think for for comedians we go through that shit like intense right yeah right. I, I mean it's probably just you know. no dude it, it's true man like i i can't mm, i can't really like uh i can't really like tell you like what it is to like just to to be a comedian the only you oh yeah, yeah to, for like, sure mm-hmm. yeah it's um it. yeah it's there's no like book to tell you like oh this is gonna happen and this is the next step there's no clear like everybody kind of knows what it is it's like oh well you become a comedian and then you you start doing shows and then you start being invited to shows towns, yeah. and then you just grow and then eventually you know you get a special or something and everybody kind of sees it but it's all the little like intricacies 
like how to kind of like you you said like you were you just happened to meet a what was that michael uh denton uh um henton oh john henton no the other one. Oh, dunkelman My, yeah, dunkelman. yeah dunkelman yeah um like he just happened to be at that place and he's yeah like, hey like you're, you're a lot of it's chance too like you said it's a lot it's a lot of luck dude yeah and i think that's there's something to be said about it um th- that it's that's just the way it kind of goes mm-hmm. but that's good do you have shows coming up already like for Christmas, as do you have a Christmas special coming? As of right now, I do not. I think I, I, I was pretty, I was pretty busy with stand up this year. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. The strip, and then shows at Scenic, shows mm-hmm. at Mona, shows at uh, where the fuck would I? Uh, the the uh, Stagecoach. Mm-hmm. Um, where else have I been? South Padre Island, Albuquerque twice. Um, did you do anything with uh, Raymond Horta? Yeah, yeah I, I know so, he. Yes, yes, you I were did. at uh, South Padre Island. Uh, oh, he's the one that took because it was a competition here too, right, or something. That yeah, or yeah. Was, that, that well, yeah. he did that competition last year, mm-hmm. and I made it to the semifinal round. And okay, got knocked out, which is cool. Oh, whatever, okay. right? but um, but yeah, no, I uh, I did South Padre Island back in the end of April, early March. Mm-hmm. And it was me, Darius Jackson, and Anthony Austin Brown, and and uh, it was such a fun show. Yeah, oh, I want to yeah. go back again. Yeah, I'm hopefully, I'm, uh, I'm hopefully I'm in the works to go back in there in February because I want to do the mm-hmm. little Texas, do the little Texas run down there in the valley. So yeah, you know one of my favorite uh, comics that I happened. I used to be a truck driver, and I used to. That's where I listen to podcasts and a lot of comedians. One of my favorite guys here was uh, Mario Salazar. Oh, I love star. Mario. Oh, man, like the first time I heard it was one of his uh, voiceovers. He he voiceover like when people get in fights, uh-huh. he'll he'll do voiceovers on it. Oh man, that thing just I'll, I can watch these videos like yeah, just every every time like I look at his video, it's like all right, he's gonna be like there's something that's just gonna crack me the fuck. Yeah, Mario is a great comedian, dude. He's mm-hmm. fucking funny as hell, dude, and he's a really good hang too. I, I met him once. Um, but I, I don't know if I was like starstruck or what, because he's cool as hell. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, like it's kind of like that. Like you don't know if you're ready to mm-hmm. like hang out with somebody. But yeah, the, the, he's one of those guys that he's incredibly like, he's humble. He's like he's a good time. Like, he's he's a, yeah. He just he you could tell that he he's just out to have a good time. He's really fucking cool. Yeah, and uh, super cool dude. I loved uh, hanging out with him when he came in. I think I believe he came this past summer. Yeah. To yeah. the comics. Yeah, he was trip. here. Um, I think, uh, who was it, Orlando, they helped him with, like, a video mm. or something like that. And it was that same night where, I think it was at the comic strip where I, I, I met him, but it wasn't anything like, mm-hmm. like, hey, what's up? You know, yeah. it was just like, hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. I think, funny. I think the only uh, comic that I've been starstruck over was, uh, was uh, but it was, this was, like, 10 years ago, way before I got oh, into really? comedy. Yeah, I went to the comic strip and saw um, Ralphie May. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. And Dang, how old were you? Like fifteen, sixteen? No, I was. I forget. I was twenty you. years old. Mm-hmm. I was twenty years old when I saw Ralphie May. Wow, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's badass. Mm-hmm. Did you meet him, or did you just? Yeah, no, I, I met him. I took a picture with him and everything. Oh, that's badass. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, that guy, dude, man. I was listening to a podcast with him with uh, Mark Marin. Uh-huh. If you haven't heard it yet, on Mark Marin's. Uh, I forget what it's called, uh, but he he did one of his uh, uh, podcasts with him, and it's a good fucking because he talks about like he had an accident or something, hmm. and that's I think that's kind of how he got into comedy. Yeah, like after an accident or something like that. And Ralphie May, yeah, he's yeah. fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, well, bless his heart, man. Rest yeah, in peace for but, sure. Uh, uh, yeah, no, he was one of the. And that's one of the ones that you kind of would like. Yeah, fu- no, but he was cool like, as yeah. shit. He oh, was yeah. cool as shit. Yeah. He was nicest guy. But yeah, no, that that. But yeah, I've been I've been hanging out at the comic strip for a while, man. And mm-hmm. like, I remember even before I met Nico, I saw him host. Uh, the woman I was dating at the time, we we took a date a night uh, uh, at the comic strip. Night out at the comic strip, and uh, um, Nico had been hosting. Mm-hmm. But uh, and yeah, I forgot. Who, I even forgot who the headliner mm-hmm. was. I can't. I cannot for the life of me. Yeah. Uh, remember who we went to see that night, but um, but yeah, dude, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely fun, and it's I mean, some nights are better than others, mm-hmm. but I think that's that's the good thing that I mean, obviously you've been really you've been having a lot of success with it, and 
I think you're. I mean, I think you're on the right track. I think you're gonna be fucking huge, man. Oh, well, thank you, man. I, I hope so too, man. Because I'm, uh, I'm not here to be I'm, like. I'm, hey, I'm like, tired of fucking driving my Honda Civic with a cracked windshield, dude. Yeah. It's like, hey, I'll be funny enough to replace this. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I get it. But no, I think I think you're on the right track. I, me too, man. Like I, that's why it it's like I can't expect anything if I'm not putting in the work. Mm-hmm. So it's like I I finally kind of saw it. It's like, dude, like fucking, you know. One of my friends told me, Ponte las pilas in Spanish. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's like, Ponte las pilas. It's like, okay, all right, I uh-huh. get it. So that's, you know, this is, um, this is a good year. <laughs> yeah. I know I started telling you this is a shit. It's been a, it's been a year, man. I know, it's been man. A fucking like, year. You, but you're bouncing back. You're finally getting out to open mic. Yeah. 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 Tonight, I might go out tonight. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, nice. There's a lot of stuff going on, but what, I'm still on that bike. Too, where do you, so. where do you usually hang out at when you're not doing stand up? Um, here. I have a, I just, uh, since I, since I came to the podcast to start doing it here, uh, I used to do it in my shop, which I'll show you right now. And, uh, what I do since I, like, so I've been really depressed for the past couple of weeks mm-hmm. and I know I had to go through it. And at, at the beginning you're like, fuck man. But then you kind of start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like, you know what? This is, this shit happens and you got to find a way to bounce back. You can't just be depressed all the time. And that's kind of where I'm getting to now, but uh, there for a while, I disassembled a motorcycle. All mm-hmm. of I took the whole thing apart, and I think that's probably what probably helped me out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, man. Uh-huh. And uh, and like I said, I'm gonna be one of the things that I that I told myself on the podcast is I have to do a good job out of respect for guests. Mm-hmm. Like if because I want you to have a good podcast and invite you and make it an outlet to be able to yeah. showcase or not showcase you, but to be able to. Just prop you up and yeah, we're just talking, bro. Exactly. Yeah, we're just we're and boys. that way people, you know, whenever you go out and just start talking about, you know, like some dark shit that you usually do, <laughs> that way people are like, oh no, no, like this guy's not a piece of shit. Like he's that's yeah. just his jokes. Yeah, dude, I, I have it. that problem a lot. Okay, so uh, hopefully this will help. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh no, he's just, he's not being an asshole. Like yeah, he's, no, he's, he's, like I, I there's been times where um, uh, I'll be at like a scenics or mm-hmm. uh, Mona. Yeah. Um, but my, mainly scenics yeah. and, um, you know, I'll go up there and talk about whatever it is I, I want to say. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the looks that like some women yeah. give me <laughs> after yeah, I get off stage, like they, they, they want nothing to do with me. Yeah. And people don't realize that, but I'm not like that in real e- life. Exactly. People don't realize that you're, you, that's why you're going on stage. It's not your thoughts that you, that how you believe, but it's like, listen, I'm here to make you laugh. That's what it is. Yeah. That's good. I think, uh, like, you're an asshole. And I was like, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I just gave a homeless man like five bucks yesterday. And I guess I'm an asshole. I don't know. Mm, yeah. That, that's how it works. So. That's what makes you an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> giving homeless people yeah, money. Like you're, you're that guy that gives yeah, them money? Look at that guy. <laughs> but no, I'm glad, um, I'm glad that everything's going out for you. I think I could see it. And, and see, that's the thing. Like, I see it in El Paso. You could tell El Paso's growing. Yeah. So it's going to, if you're... If you put in, it is, it's time. Yeah. If you put in the work and you have that time, mm-hmm. it's, it's going to happen if, you, if you're really dedicated. Yeah. So, dude, it's going to be a lot of fun. But I'm glad you invited me out, man. Hell yeah. It was a lot of fun, dude. I can't wait to come back. I'm glad. You know what? I kind of didn't have the balls to invite people because I, like I said, I want to be, have a good product. Yeah. That cuz if you have like, you know, if I this was all half assed and you're like, you know what, let's record. Well, this it. is a this is a way better startup set than I had. I used to uh do oh, I used to do a a sports podcast back in the day like oh, about shit. 3 like about 3 4 years ago with a buddy of mine. Um, really? For yeah. sport, for the Eagles? No, we or covered just... we did everything. Well, I used okay. to I used to be part of a podcast. I don't I still kind of am. I just kind of like interact on the show. Mm-hmm. But um but uh I started this podcast and it just it just didn't really take off the way I, I expected it to. Right. No, um, and that makes sense because uh, and that's one of those things where everything evolves. And I think a podcast like everybody has a podcast right now, and yeah. I get it. Um, but you know, this is gonna be the best one. So. Yeah, and like, <laughs> yeah, mine mine kind of didn't uh, take off the the way I, I mm-hmm. had expected it to. Yeah. Um, but dude, this setup's way better than mine. Like nice. you actually have microphones. I had to do like I produced and did audio from my phone yeah. and recorded off my phone with an adapter. Okay. With headphone microphones like okay. that. 
with yeah. the microphone on was it. Look, look, and it was me here. and my friend just talking about sports mm -hmm. do you have video no or, oh, okay no it was video it was just, okay, it was it was audio. just audio right see the thing is that like, for that to work if it's just audio you you have to kind of establish yourself already mm -hmm. i think you know because you have to uh already have if it's something that's uh Well, actually, I don't even know. You know, I'm talking out of my ass. No, but it's just true. If People want to watch, too. It's weird. Yeah. But you have to, you know, if somebody already likes you, like your stand-up, mm -hmm. and you tell them, hey, I'm going to push my podcast, and then that's how you kind of start getting more of a, a following. Because, you know, like a buddy will tell a buddy, and then people will tell. Them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean. That's I guess that's how every podcast works. Yeah, no, but I remember doing that. You did it? From my friend's apartment. Okay. In downtown. Where are these podcasts at? Where can we listen I, to I don't even podcasts? fucking know where they are now. Where can we listen to your podcast? But they're old. They're like <laughs> four or five years old. They're That's so outdated. Cool. Yeah. But now they it didn't are really... Are you still a fan of the Eagles? How, how are the Eagles doing? Uh, we are undefeated right now, sir. No, no, no. Back when you started your podcast. Maybe that's oh, why dude, I I've been an Eagle, Dude, I've been an Eagles fan since I was a kid, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No, I saw. Yeah, you're one of the people that I think you're. Since you're, I was a kid, yeah. I'm not big into. I like the Cowboys, mm -hmm. which you know we talked about. You were bless at the your game. heart, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which you know, I, and I became a fan of them when uh, <laughs> when they were not good. Like I became a fan of them. Yeah. Like, 13. Like I admit it, because you know I'm a Texan. Like my my Instagram is fucking L crazy Texan. Yeah. Texas Texas is the best country in the world. Oh yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then you know the U S is just lucky to have texas yeah part of it yeah okay. and uh that that's why i by default became a cowboys fan yeah <laughs> well you know there's another team in texas right yeah the texas you don't you can like them too you ah, know okay. i feel like they don't get enough love I from feel everyone like they else don't. and they and i have their logo look <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's just I, and that's my thing like dude i love texas oh dude i love, I love the state of texas bro can you dude whenever i go to philadelphia i love telling people i'm from texas <laughs> I, I, <laughs> yeah, that makes I, it's like i love it i just Yeah. Like, you're from Texas? And I was like, fuck, yeah, I'm from Texas. What's oh. wrong with that? You got a problem? Exactly. What the fuck? It's like we're, it's, you know, uh, it's hard to not feel like you're better than anybody else. Dude, and I, like, sometimes I, I get, Texas. sometimes, uh, you got to do, you got to come over my backyard, bro. It's like super Texas. Yeah, fuck yeah. Like, my dad has a mural of ZZ Top. We have a bar with the <laughs> nice. state of Texas on it. Like, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, no, that's not bad. Dude, it, it's Very Texas. Uh, no, I was hanging out with one of my friends, and she's like, you, "You're so proud of Texas." It's like, "Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's the fucking, fucking, it's fucking awesome. greatest place in the world, dude." It, it what are you is, talking it about? It really is, man. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, I love but no, nah, dude, I, 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 I uh, <laughs> and that's why I became a Cowboys fan. Yeah, because it's like you know, it's America's team, and well, I don't know about that shit, but I mean, it's it right. is. It's okay. You, have, you can have your opinion, <laughs> you know, and I could be right. I guess, but uh, but uh. But yeah, no, I I, I uh, I've been an Eagles fan since I was like maybe, and they're doing really well eight, too, right? Eight nine years old, I want to say. They're doing really really well. Yeah, so. and the cow. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. I mean, yeah, and I go to their games too, so like it, it's very special, man. And then this this year was very was was a, was a little more uh, sentimental to me because um, you know because uh, this. This last uh, two weekends ago, when I went to Philly, mm -hmm. uh, was uh, the first time I'd been to Philadelphia since the pandemic. Oh, okay. So I hadn't been since 2019. Mm -hmm. You yeah. travel quite a bit. I I haven't invested in traveling mm -hmm. so much, well, but should, it's one of those things. Yeah, yeah. it's one of those things that because uh, I had another podcast yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, the girl that I was interviewing, she's uh, she's from Peru, and she told me she's like, dude, you have to travel. Like, set aside, like your your time or whatever it is you have to travel and it's a good advice you know travel outside of your comfort zone mm -hmm. it's yeah so it's yeah, good so, as bad yeah. as you're gonna yeah, so it was plus cool. philly's nice too yeah dude philly's beautiful man yeah. i don't care what anyone says it's it's mm -hmm. super nice yeah little 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 rugged little rugged little rough but uh it, it's fun it, yeah no it's, <laughs> didn't they like set the town on fire like a couple of years ago or <laughs> What? After they lost, uh, no, they when they won. Oh yeah, when they, when they won. won. Which, well, they didn't set the town on fire. They just partied a little too hard. But yeah, it's all good. That's a good excuse. That's <laughs> a, hey, if you put it that way. Yeah. But hell yeah, man. I, thanks for coming. I don't know no, if there's you, anything man. else. I was I was asking if you had another show to. You know, no, no, I don't. Ahead. Unfortunately, I don't right now. Uh, I think the only thing I have coming up is. 
Probably not till January. Okay. As of now, I need, it's barely October. Yeah. So there might be something that comes up. Like, yeah. For Christmas or something. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure the I'll be at the comic strip between now and then. Hell yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Come hang out. It's I've been hanging out there more recently too. To, I, I fucking told myself it's like show show your face. Yeah. Yeah. So plus I could get more guests. Too. That's yeah, that'd be fun. Really good. So that's how you do it, man. You had a good time. I, I bought you cigars and beer. Oh, thank you. Dude. I, I bought I these because I thought they were funny. The, you know, the little <laughs> mini. These yeah, are these, these are for these are for little I, people. I bought, these little ones. <laughs> I bought them just in the seven app. fluid. I was grabbing the beer are, and I was like, you know what? Or these are for recovering alcoholics. Like they're trying to get off, so they give them yeah. the little ones. You know? Yeah. yeah. Here you motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. But now, man. Thanks for coming. Awesome, man. Uh, we're going to post all your social media. That'd be uh, great. I know for a fact, like, I know you're going to keep working. Like, I don't even know why I keep asking. It's like, where are you going to, yeah, just fucking follow. Your, yes, sir. Your, Always. Your Instagram, your Facebook, your, is that it? Social media? Yeah, that's all I got. Twitter? You got Twitter? I have Twitter. Yo, yeah, you I'm on, Twitter. I, I, dude, Twitter's my bread and butter, dude. All right, cool. So what are you on at? What? Uh, it's just Puga20, P-U-G-A-2-0. Puga right, cool. It's all the same Instagram, Facebook. All right, cool. So Puga20, we'll fucking do it out. Thanks for coming, man. Hey, man, thank you. Hell yeah. Appreciate you. Fuck yeah. I'm out. I'm out.